Welcome to the Vulcan Profit Indicator Study. This short video is a follow-up to the blog and to address a few idiosyncrasies we've discovered. There were comments about this indicator repainting. However, it did not present in the usual way. That being said, we decided to do a little further investigating due to a few discrepancies we'll discuss and demonstrate in this short video. By the way, we undertook a search for a non-repainting version of the indicator and found three instances. We downloaded them, placed them on the charts, and discovered that all three still showed signs of sporadic repainting of the arrows, but the catch was they were repainting in different places. That being said, we made a screen recording over a period of eight hours on the one minute chart to determine how and when the indicator repainted. I'll start up the video and increase the speed by 25,000%. When it begins, you'll see three pre-existing signals. Now, we'll begin to see live signals popping up, three to be exact. Notice that signals are drawn and do not repaint. I'll skip over a period which did not return any signals, then resume tracking. Notice that the signals which have been printing do not redraw and remain in the same place. We'll skip ahead a bit. Now look about one third from the left side of your screen and you'll see a red arrow appear, approximately 55 to 60 periods prior to current price. Here's a close-up of the before and after. Notice the new signal, but it means nothing because it's so far in the past, unless you're backtesting. So let's resume. And let's skip ahead a bit. Now watch closely, and you'll see a blue arrow pop up after prices move past that point in time. Did you see it? Once the new arrow popped up, it stayed there along with the arrows which appeared organically. Over the span of 8 hours there were 14 signals which did not move or repaint and 2 which painted after price had moved well past that point in time. So what does this tell us? It tells us that had you used this indicator, you could have entered and exited a trade long before the false arrows popped up. What else does it tell us? It reminds us what VP says in each indicator series video. Forward testing will not yield the same results as back testing. And finally, what is the most important takeaway? The answer is that you must test these indicators for yourself. We'll find them, do the heavy lifting, and then get them out to you. But ultimately, you are the best judge of what works best for you. We hope this short lesson has been helpful with a weird, wacky, and undoubtedly controversial indicator. Check out our indicator blogs and partner videos each week as we bring you the tools not found on the MT4 box set. Do the work, stay the course, and become a better trader.